वेलकम फ्रेंड्स फॉर दिस नादा चैनल सीरीज ऑन म्यूजिक थेरेपी वी ऑल नो दैट म्यूजिक थेरेपी इज रिलेटेड टू लर्निंग द आर्ट ऑफ रेस्टिंग एंड रिलैक्सिंग विथ म्यूजिक सो एज टू प्रिवेंट द ऑनसेट ऑफ इलनेस दैट इज द बेसिस ऑफ दिस सीरीज and we have already completed uh, a video on relaxing or sedative music recently and those of you who have not seen it may have an idea by seeing that and then comparing with this present video which is going to tackle what we call as active music so naturally we have seen the relaxing music now we are going to see the active music so the active music is variously known which is known as activating music sti- stimulating music dominant music nagging music persuasive music captivating music ex- exciting music powerful music capturing music assertive music aggressive music forceful music military music exercise music patriotic music erotic music querulous music angry music overpowering music oh my god you can give all adjectives to the music which are coming under the umbrella of active music so now why all this fun of classifying the music to various kinds it's being done because in music therapy we need to sort of have a ready access for certain types of music for prescribing to the patients or clients why this classification at all this classification is very important particularly for the music therapists who have to treat their patients or clients there is a plethora of music available around them and they have to have a ready access for the type of music which they have imagined in their mind for the benefit of their client or patient so suppose a person wants to activate a patient then he has to go for active music and at that time he doesn't have to go and search with so many music varieties he may make a library of his own he can keep a series of series of music as i pointed out under the active music itself there are so many so many adjectives which come like patriotic music or forceful music captivating music exciting music so like that all those things the shades and nuances of music can be put under one file or folder and that will help in the event of his recommending a piece of music so this is how this exercise is being done we don't have to go to the music therapist for a prescription of music we can make a self prescription and uh, we can find out which are the music that is closer to our heart or to our being by listening making a habit of listening various kinds of music which we love so by that we can have a great idea that when we want to activate ourselves when we want to uplift ourselves our moods let's say then we can go for certain music we can have a playlist of those music or samples and those samples we can listen to them as and when possible maybe five times a day maybe three times a day i don't know you can prescribe your own regulation and do that and see and take the benefit of those strings and you will feel in due course yes this music is helping me so this is what most of the people tell me when they work on this so here we are taking up the activating music today and i will be giving certain samples of activity music as soon as my talk is finished and before that i must say that there must be a definition for this uh, 
phrase active music uh, basically you know we 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 find the music which activates you know it which activates our limbs you may find that some music is going on somewhere and some person is nodding his head huh? yeah that is activating music a person is listening to a music and immediately he, ch he hits a change from inside and he starts uh, dancing or he starts uh, making certain move body movements you know so that is the activating music and also it's very important it's not just the body which is activated but also your mind and your emotion is also activated that's what the mood changes says towards positivization that's the beauty of music is that if you have a negative sort of uh, temperament and you find that over a time very quickly with uh, listening to a very activating active music very active music it it impresses you and then it changes your mood altogether and not only that but even the behavioral patterns because we have found that there are certain music which has a pace which has a tempo and that particular tempo is conducive for the person to walk or to slowly get up and move you know as we need in rehabilitative exercises so we need you know certain movements some something to pull us from within as the people who have faced certain problems in life and they are not able to move up and they are bedridden and they are trying to little bit lift up their body and try to have a few steps for that they need courage and that courage can come from music it's like a companion you know like a, like selecting appropriate active music so that's why the active music helps and we have seen that uh, the sedative music helps you to go to sleep and whereas uh, you we can now understand that the active music because it's activating you so it's not superific and it it's not sleep producing it's good for activating you activating your mind your spirit and uplifting your mind and spirit and also uh, enabling your body to move so it's a, a sort of stimu stimulant it is not a sedative now we take up the musical ingredients that contribute towards making a music active energetic simulating etc so it is actually based on the ingredients that the final product comes out and here we are going to take up certain important elements in music when we take up this uh, musical structure of an active music as we all know there are tones there are notes note density note duration and then also there are uh, something called uh, rhythms and tempo and you also have certain psychoacoustic effect so we will take one by one and then analyze actually how an active music can be identified so let us now take this uh, tone part of it and in the tones in active musical structure are actually short lived and uh, they are non flowing you know unlike the relaxing music we saw there is a flowing music but in this case the tones are not flowing the tones are short and clipped sometimes then when you come to the note density uh, this is rather very high here as compared to uh, relaxing music so here the note density is quite high and when you come to the note duration that is duration or the lifetime of a note is something very small and short lived actually um so this is also in contrast to the relaxing music where uh, the note duration is long and um, sometime going on and on and all we saw that coming to the structure 
very important thing about uh, active music you have just heard a fugue you know from uh, uh, a very important uh, western um, composer uh, bach actually so in that fugue actually fugue is a form of a polyphony when you call polyphony uh, what we mean is there are multiple melodies it is not a single melody you know normally in indian music we have a single string of melody but uh, in western music uh, it is polyphony that is it is uh, multiple melodies and uh, the examples are something called rondo canons fugues and all that and they are all if you see they are not flowing actually as in relaxed music um, these um, polyphonic uh, compositions are non flowing and coming to the tempo because tempo is very important in deciding whether uh, a music is active or passive or relaxing or whatever so here we take the tempo for um, active music as allegro it's called in italian allegro this is uh, between 120 and 156 bpm mm -hmm. and mostly they are composed in this and uh, at times you are also seeing a faster tempo here which uh, uh, which is called in italian as vivace vivace is uh, between 156 to 170 bpm so that means uh, fairly modest and then uh, a fairly uh, fast actually as compared to relaxing music which we found you know rather it could be slow you know somewhere between 70 to 100 and all that whereas in this case it's uh, almost starting from 120 you can say and then goes up to even 170 so that is the beauty of the compositions of Tchaikovsky, Vivaldi and many Western composers. Um, then a very important thing about um, active music is uh, musical articulation. How music is articulated, you know, articulation is a very important aspect which decides the active music. And here we call it staccato. Staccato is another Italian word which means uh, each note is sharply separated from other notes. So it comes like cluck, 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 cluck or chop, 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 chop. That is what the staccato. If you say chop, then it becomes relaxing. But you say chop, 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 then there is no relaxing. It is active. It's a, just a crude example, I thought I will tell you. The most important part, it's not just musical structure, but it is a psychoacoustic role of active music. That actually, that determines. And when we talk about psychoacoustic role, I've seen a paper by Dr. Jacob Jolly, and he has actually found three elements actually. Uh, for uh, any cheerful, cheerful composition, three elements, he says, they are broadly there. Number one is tempo is about 118 BPM, that is the tempo. Then he also says it's always in major key, actually, major key, not minor key. And then the third one, he says, the lyric is uplifting because the lyric also contributes in cheerful music like national anthem and all that you see the lyrics are very important powerful so they are also added in the case of cheerful music to make to cheer up the people then when we come to the expressions in music um, we just heard that Bach's little fugue in G minor a while ago and um, here actually, um, when it starts in low frequencies, you know, it, it all mostly in low frequencies, it, you know, it, re it revolves around low frequencies and certain times, you know, it's hidden, you know, there is something like a secret which is hidden, hidden. so in this case also there are certain, uh, they call it kasha, kashe in, uh, in musical parlance. So, 
this is hidden actually because it's not very open and very coming out because you know it gives certain sort of power or majesty or royalty because you know nothing is disclosed to you so no transparency so it's it's very royalty you know and it is it is like uh, the king is final that sort of matter you know that shapes the royalty you can uh, feel in western classical music particularly in baroque music you will find the royalty grandeur and uh, huge orchestration sometimes going up to 100 pieces you know played by almost 100 artists so it's a giant orchestras are there so even now they are continuing with that tradition it's very beautiful it's wonderful tradition so the idea is that by revealing less and you are conveying more you know that is the concept of active music and um, you can say that and we also have active music that military march music military march music and you also find music in gym and ex- exercise clubs and all that like treadmill music you know uh, these are all uh, tailor made tempo actually the tempo is almost fixed fixed and then you know everything goes round and round the tempo actually you know that is what you know that uh, that music um, uh, is uh, sort of uh, uh, played then we also have an active music variety which is pat- patriotic music and actually the beauty about patriotic music we all know that sare jahan se acha so like that so this type of songs you know yeah, they are easily singable by non singers also so that is the beauty of patriotic music that everyone can participate in singing such songs like vande mataram and all that then you also have there is a mall music they call it a shopping malls uh, are the in things now and um, uh in shopping malls you know there is so much of noise emanation because so many people crowd there and then discuss and talk so to sort of uh, creating a sound barrier through music you know that is the aim of um, shopping mall music i call it as a sound barrier music uh, because that is created just to prevent the noise in mall because to to stop the mo- noise you create another noise you know maybe that's the concept of shopping mall music because it's in crowded places you know you cannot um, have a relaxing music and all that you have to have a powerful and energetic music like active music then another thing is fast music in fast food joints we have many fast food joints where people are not allowed to even sit they have to stand up and eat and then and then they have to run away you know uh, giving way for new clients you know to make that happen you know many of the uh, smart restaurant owners um, they they fix the music in such manner that you know you are made to hurry up your eating so that you know you run away from that so it i can call it as runaway music and that is also an active music rather sometimes over active music you can call it now you have this uh, important thing about psycho acoustic uh, aspects of active music i find that uh, there are three tones which um, um, i must mention here the three important uh, notes uh, uh, in piano let us say one is d flat um d flat was rated in a survey that it is the most tragic of all those notes d flat then similarly in another survey e flat was taken as the saddest of all notes saddest that is e flat then there was a questionnaire which was sent um, by nada center for music therapy to many of the music lovers and they found that uh, the happiest note among this in the octave then that is b 
B, like B positive, you know, that B is a very positive and happy note, you know, that's what found. And you will be surprised to find that in most of the active music, these three combinations and permutations you can find, that is the D flat, E flat and B, all these notes are, you can find somewhere and somehow they are used by the composers and so that, you know, it's made more active. That means activity also sometimes, uh, sadness also pa forms part of the activity, joy also forms part of the activity and then tragic incidences can also be narrated because when you build in these sort of aspects in your active music, then the active music can be used for treatment of depression. In fact, that's how, you know, many of the beautiful compositions. So Vivaldi, I can suggest one thing, Vivaldi's uh, summer, uh, there is four seasons, you know, the last part of it, fourth part of it is called summer. And I have profusely used this summer to people with uh, the special children, you know, uh, for so many years in uh, Vishakapatnam in India. And um, there, you know, the special children um, get lost in that beauty of that um, music. And um, even sometimes I found the, pe the children who are prone for anger, they also start behaving very beautifully immediately after that music. So I happen to recommend that music, Vivaldi, for many of the Andhra parents, you know, and they use that music in their home with the children whenever they become violent and uncontrollable then they play the uh, they play that uh, tune you know in a very high decibel and then uh, that uh, that attracts those children and they becoming softened they become normal or something like that maybe temporarily i will not i will not say that it's a permanent solution but certainly it gives temporary relief, not only for the children, but also for their parents and caregivers. So with these words, I thank you for watching. Now we will be continuing with a few examples of active music. So see you soon. Bye-bye.